Hi, church family. Our reading today takes us to Psalm 32. There's not really a memorable verse in Psalm 32. It's nobody's favorite psalm that I know of, so it could be one that we just try to skip right over and read through. But it's there for a reason, and it's got things that we can learn from, so we want to make sure we give it our attention today. In fact, I want to draw your attention to a word that appears three times in this psalm. Many times we skip over it, but it's in the Bible 74 times. 71 of those times is in the book of Psalm, even though most people don't know how to pronounce it, and we really don't know what it means. The word is Selah or Selah, and uh, people think that it could have been a musical term that David used. It could also be a term that means to pause and to reflect. And that's what I want to focus on today, because like I say, it's used three times in this psalm. Uh, Once was when David was talking about unconfessed sin in his life. Once was when David mentioned in verse 5 about God forgiving the iniquity of his sin. But then in verse 7, David says, you are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah is used three times, and each time it's a chance for us to pause and reflect and consider what that could mean for our life. Do we have any unconfessed sin? Has God forgiven us? Is he our deliverer and our hiding place? In all those instances, we've got the opportunity to commune with God and to praise him for what he's done in our lives. So don't let that chance pass you by as you read Psalm 32 today. Have a great day.